Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for your attendance here and for the outpouring of uh, support that we've gotten and all the interest uh, on behalf of the media. Of course, as you understand, these situations are uh, very fluid. The information comes in at uh, different intervals. So, you know, we've called this press conference here to discuss where we're at now with the investigation into the shooting last night. I'm very happy to have with me Chief of Police Paul Oliveira, the Honorable Mayor John Mitchell, District Attorney Thomas Quinn, Bristol County. I have the ATF Assistant Special Agent in Charge, Jason, Jason Stankwitz. I have Detective Lieutenant Steve Connolly of Mass State Police CPAC. I have Deputy Chief Adelino Souza, Union President Evan Bielski, and Union Vice President Arthur Haggerty. So I'm gonna introduce the uh, Chief, to have him come to the podium and talk about the events that transpired last night we're going to have a few speakers, and we're going to save questions till the end, and I'll, I'll guide you through that uh, to let you know when we're ready for that, okay? So right now, uh, Chief Paul Oliveira. Thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you all for being here, showing your support. So I'm going to give you a brief synopsis uh, similar to what uh, we've released uh, earlier today. Uh, so last night at about 8.45 p.m., uh, Detective LeVar Gilbert, who was working in an undercover capacity in the area of uh, Orchard Street and Rivet Street, uh, was struck by gunfire. A uh, bullet penetrated through his driver's side window and struck him in the face. Detective Gilbert proceeded to uh, transport himself uh, to St. Louis Hospital, radioed that he'd been struck, uh, pulled up to the front, and was immediately given to emergency care. So Detective Gilbert remains at St. Luke's Hospital. Uh, thankfully, uh, he's in stable condition, and uh, we pray and think of him and uh, all hope for a uh, speedy recovery. So uh, the investigation, as you know, is, is ongoing. I won't be able to speak in, in great detail to that, as you can imagine, uh, but I would like to uh, thank Detective Gilbert for his, you know, his commitment uh, to, to be on the street every single day and again last night performing his duties and really each and each member uh, men and women of the Quebec Police Department they do on a daily basis and uh, you know have this uh, risk uh, to ensure the public safety uh, one thing we can ensure is that uh, the uh, that neighborhood Goulart Square or Orchard Street Rivet Street um, we're confident that this was a, a random act of uh, violence and um, we don't see any uh, fear of uh, retaliation or anything of that as such in that neighborhood. So again, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Mayor John Mitchell. All right, thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We, uh, we put out some information about uh, this, this matter uh, last night as well as uh, this morning we wanted uh, to uh, make sure by the end of the day we're getting everybody the information uh, they needed and were entitled to. Um, first off, I just want to say that um, LeVar Gilbert is doing well, remarkably. It was an extremely close call and uh, a matter of, you talk about matters of inches, this was much less than an inch uh, in terms of it's a risk of doing uh, much, much more damage. And so he's recovering and we are, more than anything else, grateful for that. Um, I want to say that I uh, am graciously, greatly appreciative of the work that our department does every day, but um, what has been on full display in the last uh, 12 hours or so, almost 24 hours, I suppose, uh, has, has really impressed me, not only as the mayor, but as a former federal prosecutor, has seen a number of different types of investigations uh, unfold over time. This is an investigation that has been given a concerted and thorough and very skillful uh, effort headed up by our police department, uh, by our chief, uh, Paul Oliveira, uh, and we're grateful for the assistance of District Attorney Tom Quinn, uh, the Mass State Police, uh, and the Bureau of Ac Al Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms as well. And so uh, it is, uh, it's a, a team effort, and I can tell you um, that it is extremely active at this point. It is an investigation that uh, has a number of, of active leads that are being pursued. 
and that uh, we have a high degree of confidence that we're going to be apprehended those who are responsible uh, for it. I do think it is uh, important for everybody to understand uh, that the public can play a role in it. So if you have information about who may have been involved in this, uh, you know, we need you to come forward. And it's not to say that uh, law enforcement is groping in the dark. They, they've got leads and they're working their leads, but it is always more helpful when folks in neighborhoods, whether it's in the Goulart Square neighborhood where, there's, where this happened or anywhere else in the city or anywhere else in Greater New Bedford, if you've got information, uh, please bring it forward. Uh, you can call the New Bedford Police Department's tip line. Uh, they're available, but we want to make sure that we're getting all the evidence uh, that we need to put together a strong case and, uh, and bring this, uh, this person to justice. Uh, with that, I'll turn it back over to Lieutenant Carolla. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell. I'd like to turn the podium over to uh, District Attorney Thomas Quinn now. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, as was mentioned, uh, thoughts are uh, with uh, Detective Gilbert, who was uh, injured and certainly could have been killed based on uh, what took place last night. This highlights the danger that police face uh, in their communities on a daily basis. He's there doing his job, protecting the public, uh, and is the victim uh, of a very serious crime that could, could have been fatal. I'm very pleased that the joint law enforcement effort involving the Bedford Police Department, uh, state police, federal agencies who are now working together investigating this case and bringing uh, the individuals any the individual individuals involved to justice I think that's very important to know that the agencies are working together as part of a team uh, to bring uh, a number of uh, as I said investigative agencies together a number several prosecutors working on this case closely um, the case is in its early stages uh, it is concerning that the, the conduct that goes on uh, throughout the country, this is another example, just jeopardizes the lives and safety of people on a regular basis uh, in an intentional way and often in a wanton and reckless way. This particular area, the south uh, end of the city, uh, it's a summer night, it's a highly rivet street, is a very busy street, there are people around, could be on their doorstep, so the, any time, uh, shots are fired. Uh, it's just very concerning and, and just not acceptable. Um, so the investigation is ongoing. Uh, like any investigation nowadays, technology will uh, be important part of this. Uh, various agencies uh, are working uh, around the clock. Uh, any shooting is serious, but this is when an officer is shot is particularly concerning people trying to enforce the law and protect us on a daily basis. So we're going to continue to work this case very much. It's not in the early stages of investigation. There's limitations on what can be said uh, that can compromise the investigation. So uh, we're all working in this together and uh, hopefully we'll bring about uh, justice in this case. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So we're going to open up the uh, floor to questions right now. Obviously, keeping in mind this is, is an, an active investigation, and uh, we don't want to release any information that's going to be compromising uh, of the outcome. So uh, with that in mind, if you have a question, please make yourself known and let me know who you'd like to speak with. Okay. Chief, how rare is it that a police officer calls in their own shooting? Well, yeah. It's, uh, you, it's, it's I would assume, very rare, especially someone who's, who's been shot in the face and then transports himself to the hospital. It's miraculous of what, what he did. What's your first reaction when you heard something like this happen? It's, it's the phone call that, uh, it's the phone call you never want to get. Chief, can you speak to the detective who's doing how long he's been on the Yeah, sure. So uh, Detective Gilbert's a 17-year veteran, uh, spent a number of his years, and actually probably the majority of his years, uh, working uh, in our narcotics division. Very, very successful detective. If, if you do any research on him, you'll see numerous, numerous press releases on major drug seizures uh, that he's had throughout his career. He's just a, a very, uh, very unbelievable detective and an unbelievable person. So, uh, like I say, our, our, our thoughts are with him. Thank you. 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 Thank you
It is, it is in fact, uh, they determined it was the bullet. Okay. Can you clarify for us, earlier was said that this was random, so the, he wasn't targeted specifically. Can you just tell us more about that? Uh, I can confidently tell you that uh, through the, our investigation up to this point, uh, yes, we do not believe he was uh, the target, the intended uh, target of the shooting. Uh, I prefer not to get into much more detail other than that, but I, I'm comfortable saying that to this point, yes. I was just uh, conducting surveillance. He was undercover capacity, uh, so just doing surveillance. In the press release, you mentioned that a male went to the hospital with a gunshot wound to his foot. Um, is anything new come from that? Do you think that might be related? Uh, it was, in fact, related. Uh, this male happened to be in the same exact vicinity, uh, so he was, uh, we have learned that he was struck. Um, he, he showed up to the hospital shortly after the officer. Um, so, yes, we, we have determined he was in the area and he, he was struck. and. Uh, he was also treated at St. Luke's and he has since been released. Do you have a description of any suspects or getaway vehicles? Uh, I, at this time, I'm not going to comment on that. Chief Ortiz, would you mind just explaining your office role in this investigation? Well, we certainly uh, are involved in the prosecution of uh, crimes that are committed. A crime has been committed. Uh, and we are working with the New Bedford Police Department as we have a very good relationship with uh, throughout uh, the year, investigating crimes and providing assistance. Uh, so, I mean, our role is, is pretty straightforward, working with them, following up leads and information and evidence on the case that hopefully will lead to charges being brought in this case. Well, I think what's important is in general, without getting into the specifics of this, because it really isn't appropriate to talk about the, the precise roles of anybody, it's law enforcement agencies coming together on a most serious matter to provide whatever assistance that's within their area of expertise to assist in solving this crime. So uh, we are grateful for the support of, of, of uh, everybody who's involved, because uh, when you have a police officer shot in the line of duty, uh, that strikes home with everybody. It should. So, people are coming together to provide whatever assistance they can. Mayor, this is your city. What's your message to people that think that they can come here and just kill themselves? Uh, you'll get caught. Um, and I say that not out of a sort of a empty confidence, but there's a strong track record of our police department working with their partners in law enforcement, including the district attorney's office, of turning these cases around. They're very effective over the years at gathering, especially electronic evidence. There's, that is a big, that is the, the new thing, sort of the new thing in law enforcement. So, um, and they've been very good at it. So you, you, you got, this guy's not gonna get away with it. Chief, would you be interested to see um, whether the detective would be able to go back into the undercover capacity once he's better, or, or does this kind of take him out of that capacity now that we named him? Really, right now, oh, you know, our main concern is is, is recovery, and is, is uh, you know is supporting him and his family through the, through it. So, uh, you know, that time will tell. But really, it's it's all about his recovery right now, being there to support him. It's been about ten years now, I believe. Uh, I would say wrong place, wrong time. It, uh, you know, there's no evidence, I, yeah, I should clarify, no evidence of uh, Detective Gilbert being the target, nor the police. As you can imagine, all, all crimes, uh, you know, video plays a key role. So that's currently uh, been the far majority of our time today, and we'll continue in the next 24 hours as long as it takes, uh, excuse me, as long as it takes to pursue any and all uh, video, any type of evidence, but obviously video is, is a key component of that. Is there any other individuals besides the detective and the manager and the suspect that also received gunshot wounds, or are those only the two people you know? That's correct, just the two. Thank you very much for your uh, interest in this case and for all of your support in, in addition to questions that I fielded from the media. I have also gotten a lot of words of encouragement 
and people just calling and saying, hey, listen, you know, uh, no, all questions aside, you know, we wish you guys well. So, you know, we really appreciate that. If you have any follow-up questions, you can feel free to email me or contact me. I'd also like to stress that, uh, you know, we, anybody in the public that has information they'd like to give out uh, regarding this incident or any other for that matter, you can do so anonymous, anonymously. And all the instructions uh, for doing so are on our website and our Facebook page. And remain on our Facebook page for up-to-date uh, information regarding anything that, anything that we are doing, including events and including news. Okay? Thank you very much.